Hello everyone, my name is Mark Florence and I'm with the Southwest Technical College and Solar PV Outlaws. In this video we're going to talk about bipolar circuits as outlined in the 2017 National Electrical Code. Let's get started. So to provide a little more information, to get a little bit more in depth about how we're going to look at these voltages and the requirements of 690.7C of the 2017 National Electrical Code, what I want to do is illustrate and show you what those monopole and then the total bipolar voltage would look like. And I have written here, bipolar PV system with a positive and negative voltages are required to be separated into two separate monopole or monopolar circuits. So this is a bipolar PV array. This is the entire array right here. And if we split this in half, this top part is a monopole subarray and this bottom part is a monopole subarray. This would be the positive side of that. This would be the, or sorry, this would be the negative side. Or wait, no, let me, I'm looking at this wrong. I'm, I'm looking at this right here, negative. Uh, this is the positive because the positive is ungrounded right here. That's the positive side of that uh, system. And then this is the negative side because the negative is the one that's ungrounded. So the maximum circuit voltage is going to be the maximum voltage of a single monopole. So even though we would have a much higher voltage right here, because these are center tapped and tied to the earth or grounded, we're only measuring the voltage of either this or this, and they should be the same as long as these string lengths are the same. So for example, the positive VOC right here, that is a positive 480 volts. So let's pretend we have enough modules connected in series that if we measure right here between the positive and negative, we get a positive 480 volts. And the negative right here, if these string lengths are exactly the same, and we measure between the negative, or I'm sorry, the uh, this is the positive ground and the negative unground, we measure there, we would have a negative 480 volts. If we measure pole to pole between the positive and negative, we would get 960 volts. So if we actually lost this center tap and we measured between here and here, we would actually have double than what each of the monopole uh, voltages are. But when we're talking about the, the NEC, the, the 2017 NEC and the maximum voltage requirements, the maximum circuit voltage is going to be 480 volts, and that would be based on either this monopole or this monopole here. And typically when you're designing and installing these systems, you're going to have the string lengths be exactly the same, so you have the same voltage here, same voltage here, even though one's positive and one negative, so you, you would have a total voltage which would just be doubling one of these two. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this information to be useful and you'd either like to stay connected or be notified about future videos, please be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I hope to see you in the future. Thanks.